It was a sigh of relief for the bereaved family, the multi-agency recovery team, and the public at large when the vehicle that plunged at the Likoni Ferry Crossing Channel on the night of 29 September was finally retrieved. It was a moment to behold as residents of Mombasa thronged the channel to witness the culmination of a tedious recovery exercise. The bodies of Mariam Kagenda and her four-year-old daughter Amanda Mudeu were cautiously pulled out of the vehicle, a moment of relief for the family who had banked their hopes on the multi-agency task force to bring their agony to closure. Moments later, a police vehicle ferried the two bodies to Jocham Hospital Mochari in Kisauni as the family prepares for the funeral slated for tomorrow in Salama, Makweni County. Detectives from the DCIO unit in Mombasa swept the car to establish the circumstances that led to the tragedy, investigations that are expected to continue for a while. Kenya Navy held a brief memorial service for the deceased. The recovery was a breakthrough to what seemed a mission impossible that saw two private divers pull out of the exercise midway, three marine experts imported from South Africa, as well as a team of professional deep-sea divers from the subsea company called in to strengthen the recovery mission. Mombasa Governor Ali Hassan Joho, accompanied by various local leaders, attributed the success to concerted efforts, urging the locals to remain cautious while using the Channel. A lot of bashing from every quarters. And I'm sure people are imagining that going under this water may be as easy as diving in a swimming pool. My friend, let me tell you today that the divers who have gone down there have actually put their lives on the line for us to be able to recover the bodies of our two uh, deceased uh, citizens of this great country. Ni lazima ikiwa kuna jambo lolote ambalo kwamba lilikuwa liweze kutekelezwa na halikutekelezwa. Yule ambaye hakutekeleza amri amri ile ambayo kwamba anafaa aweze ku be held responsible. Transport PS Esther Koimet, while also lauding the efforts deployed by the task force, affirmed that the government will deploy funds to revamp the ferry services. The, the ferry services are better resourced, that we are dealing with all the challenges that are there, that we are dealing with ensuring that these old ferries are, are kitted out properly so that they, 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 they have um, uh, safety measures uh, that... Uh, ensure that the kind of accident that we saw does not happen. Na yale mashirika ama departments za serikali ama corporations ambazo na majukumu ya kuangalia mambo ya safety ya vyombo kwa kisha kuwa vifaa vya kuokoa maisha kwa hivyo vyombo viko lazima wafanye kazi yao. Juni Karisa Fortune 1 News Hour from Mombasa County.